Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ruby. I'm a mom of three and today I'm going to be showing you everything we are packing in our carry-on bags for a family of five heading on a international 14-hour flight. So first things first, I apologize for my appearance. I'm wearing a hat because like you don't want to see the mess that's under here. I just did the first school run of the year and it is a 39 degree day so it was really hot needed a hat so i can't go back the hat is on for the whole day now um so if you are new here we are taking our three kids on an international holiday to disneyland we're going to obviously california we're gonna hit up all the theme parks and we have a long 13 and a half hour flight there and then it's a 14 and a half hour flight back i don't know why there's a slight difference anyway so we have three kids. We have a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and a almost 13-month-old. So it's going to be a fun flight. Um, we are taking um, my parents-in-laws, so like my father-in-law and my mother-in-law are coming. So that should definitely help with wrangling the children. And it is a 10 p.m. night flight. Um, but still, I definitely want to be prepared to, you know, entertain the children you know with activities and that kind of thing because that it's it's a long flight and my kids aren't my kids aren't the best sleepers as is like regardless of how late they go to bed they never sleep in they you know they just don't require a lot of sleep so even though the plane leaves at 10 p.m they won't go to bed until maybe like 11 p.m that night i can guarantee they're still going to wake up by around 5 a.m like normal time so that's only about six ish hours of um the flight they are going to be sleeping so it's still going to leave like another six ish to try and fill you know so it's going to be fun it's going to be an adventure i'm obviously going to film the whole experience we're going to film like we're going to vlog the whole like flight and all of our you know vacation and that kind of thing so if you like disney content definitely stick around um but yeah let's jump into it and i will show you everything that i'm packing for our three kids and ourselves for our carry-on luggage um, for a long international flight if you are new here maybe consider subscribing and stick around and yeah let's see what i'm packing let's go okay so this is everything i have packed so far for our carry on on a 14 hour flight technically it's 13 and a half hours on the way there and then 14 and a half on the way back oh my god in the light my kids ipad covers are disgusting i have to clean that um but i will just run you through what we've got here and this is for three kids the kids are five four and 13 months so just for some reference there so we'll start and my eldest and well, I guess I'll just do the two girls together because there's a pretty much identical. So each will have a backpack. Um, you can probably guess where we're going by the three backpacks that we have. Um, so we're going to Disney. Um, so they will each have a jumper, like a coat, like their heavier kind of jacket to just carry on because it's easier than packing it. And then um, a neck pillow. We're taking the jacket on board because it's tricky going from like Australia to America because the season is always the opposite and it's like really hot here and it's going to be pretty cold when we land. So that's why we're kind of taking their heavy jackets on the plane. And then this is kind of just, you know, probably the thing they're going to use the most. We are taking a night flight at 10 p.m. Um, so I am hoping that they will sleep a good six seven hours of the flight i guess we're gonna see um, but they've got their ipad which i've just been downloading like shows and movies for them and stuff so they can watch it still and they've got their headphones they are bluetooth headphones but i'm just going to use the cord i didn't even realize that ipads had the little um what do you call like a jack point whatever it is it has the ability to plug them in which i just thought was much easier than trying to deal with connecting them when you know that's a lot of other things going on so they've got their headphones and their ipads and then we've got the water bottles we're just going to take them empty i think um, because they have to be empty to go through customs and then we'll just fill them on the other side and then they've got like a pencil case with some um, pencils and pens and just that kind of thing exactly the same for my other daughter and then they each have like two puzzles in here you can tell the different ones because they're different um colored backs so these are frozen puzzles and they've both got two different ones and then they can always like swap it so they've got four and then two lollipops each because you know take off and landing Whoop. and then my friend actually gave me this from a flight that she took to taiwan and it is so handy 
see if my depth perception can work. So it is actually, oh God, this is terrible. I'm sorry to do one handed. So it's a little scene, obviously, of these little people. And these are actually um, clear kind of like window clings and you can dress them up. And that is just perfect for carrying. It's like so narrow, so thin, and they'll have fun with that. And they've never seen it before, so it'll be new. And then they each do have a coloring book. And I did already remove the stickers from here and take them out of the package so there's no rubbish. So they each have some stickers and a coloring book, obviously, to go with their pens. So that's everything for the two girls. And hopefully that will be, you know, sufficient to keep them entertained. And then my son, let's go around here. I can kind of do my son and us together because we're kind of one of the same so the baby has a backpack but obviously like I'm going to be wearing the backpack and then he has like a little puffer jacket as well he'll be wearing a onesie so he'll already be kind of in warm-ish clothes um, so that's why he's just got a puffer jacket and then we obviously have our flight documents our passports like that kind of thing and then my husband and my um, neck pillow the baby obviously doesn't have a neck pillow he is a lap baby for this flight which is just going to be hell because it's a 13 hour flight but we weren't going to pay an extra two thousand dollars for him to be having his own seat so yeah there's that and then we do have actually while i think about it we did book our seats and we booked me and then there's it's like a two seat it goes two three two like that's the configuration of the the plane that we're in at the back of the plane we're right at the back so we actually booked seat wise there's four adults and two kids so that's six of us and it's seven across so we booked the six in a row and it leaves the one window seat next to me and I don't think it's likely but we thought it was worth the gamble of the chance that maybe that seat would be left empty and then I would have a seat for him if not it's fine I'm just going to be sitting next to a stranger like maybe the person will want to move because they don't want to sit next to a baby but anyway that's the formation we kind of book so random aside there but anyway um, so he has a water bottle as well my husband and I that's just a spare shirt for my husband and just a complete like leggings underwear shirt for me just in case someone throws up on us it, like the parents always seem to wear it so yep this is like the nappy change kit so this has the baby's nappies it has a pull up for each of the kids for when they're asleep we've got wipes in here and i've got a spare outfit for all three kids in here as well so that's just like why that's a massive bag there and then for the baby i don't have much entertainment for him because there's just not much that does entertain him he's going to be a, a nightmare on the plane like 13 months old he just wants to get into stuff so i've, just, I've got a couple toys like this one has a suction cap in it like you can spin it and stuff so i've got that for him this is just a little toy that he hasn't really played with but he really doesn't care for this kind of thing so you know we'll see how it goes he really likes playing with balls but we can't really take a ball on the plane because it'll roll away so that's the struggle there um a lollipop for him he's never had a lollipop before we do have his dummy but just in case he's refusing to take his dummy off or whatever reason he doesn't want to like nurse while we're taking off i packed a lollipop for him just in case just to cover all bases um this is a spare puzzle for the girls there's two in here so just in case you know we need to break out something extra i've got that puzzle there um roll on deodorant for my husband and i these are the melatonin gummies that my kids actually have to sleep um that i'm not going to go into it but my kids both have issues with sleep and they've been taking these for about hmm, five months and it has changed our life we have evenings again the kids actually sleep they they just don't sleep unless they have that um and that was like that before they went on the melatonin so anyway that's what they are the melatonin gummies so I've got one each for each kid and then I actually packed one each for my sister's kids just in case hers are really having trouble settling on the plane. Um, she's got that as an option if she wants it. And then this is a very hefty first aid kit that I've kind of packed to take on the plane. So we've got obviously like paracetamol and ibuprofen for myself and my husband. There's also liquid um, paracetamol and ibuprofen for the kids. I'm also going to put suppositories in here for the baby because he's terrible at taking this and just in case. Um, Band-aids, obviously, there's syringes in there for this. There is, this is anti-nausea medicine. So just in case anyone feels sick on the plane, we've got a sick bag. I know they provide them, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to have. And that is um, hydrolyte. 
So just in case, like when we get there, somebody gets sick and they need hydrolyte. And there is actually a toothbrush and toothpaste in here as well. So that is pretty much it. And what is not pictured is each of the kids will also have like a lunchbox of dry snacks, like um, crackers and um, sultanas and just, I don't know, stuff they're allowed to take on the plane that won't matter if we take it into the country, you know. Um, and I don't know if sultanas is allowed. I'm going to have to look it up, but they're going to have snacks because snacks are vital. That is it.